Well, I think there's a lot of great things happening in San Diego. I think there's a really great young population in San Diego that's really driving some new changes in our city, um, and it's making for a really vibrant community. Uh, they are expressing to me as an elected official and to our city as a municipal corporation that they want a different city. They want a city that is vibrant, uh, that is culturally rich, that has a lot of different offerings to give. And I just think there's never been more opportunities for a number of different artists and arts organizations. I like all the various communities that are around here. There's, uh, there's always something going on, there's always something to do, there's always people out and about, um, people taking advantage of the beautiful weather and everything that San Diego has to offer. Well, like any big city, we have tremendous challenges from homelessness to infrastructure. I think one of the challenges that we have is really transitioning into that role as a big city. Trying to stay one step ahead of future challenges, obviously with traffic is always um, something we need to be mindful of. Um, the water situation, you know, a couple more years of drought, we've really got serious issues here. So we really need to be proactive about how can we be conserving now. And uh, understanding that has made a huge difference in San Diego, which should be one of the greenest cities in the world because being outdoors is so wonderful, being in the environment, being in the landscape is great. We know our resources of rain and water are limited, so we have to think about that, but we have unlimited sun, sun supply, so it's a great place to be green. One of the paradigm shifts, I think, in, in the way people are approaching San Diego and sustainability and the way we grow is, is um, incorporating public transportation in almost everything we do. I've lived here since 1959. I've lived here before there were freeways. And I remember when we built the freeways and they were like massive and there was nobody on them. But we've grown now. We're filling up those freeways, but we don't have any more land to expand them. So I just think there's been a real shift in the way people um, understand that public transportation has to be part of the solution for our mobility challenges. The biggest issue to me has been and will be, because uh, we're not really addressing it, is walkability. It's really kind of hard to get around, especially on foot. I mean, you kind of have to take a car everywhere. Um, I mean, we have, a, we have a pretty decent trolley network. It can definitely be improved. But uh, to not be able to walk from where I live to where I work to places I want to go hang out, it's, uh, it makes it tough. It makes it tough to kind of live in this city that way. Right now, we're working on trying to extend our iconic San Diego trolley up to the University Town Job Center, uh, connecting to UCSD uh, and to our Veterans Hospital. Uh, that's a project that will get underway soon and will be a massive expansion of our light rail system. Additionally, we're testing out new concepts like car sharing uh, through uh, innovative Car2Go, which is an all-electric vehicle fleet uh, that has been really uh, well embraced by San Diegans. Over 17,000 people are members of this program. A lot of great things are happening here in San Diego. We have over 6,000 electric vehicles on the ground here, which is more per capita than any other city in the country. And later this year, we're going to launch bike, bike sharing, which is a similar program where folks can, on a temporary basis, rent a bike and get from A to B. It's really advancing this concept of giving consumers more choices when it comes to transportation. Uh, for too long in Southern California, we've been really wedded just to our car. I think that's had negative effects on urban sprawl, on carbon emissions, and a number of other things. And particularly one of the concerns I have is really around uh, income and really what it means to be able to afford to live in San Diego. Well, you know, everything costs money, right? right. And, and, you know, people always ask me, why can't public transportation be more like it is in San Francisco or New York? And for that to happen in San Diego, there's got to be more public investment in it. So, you know, we get about a tenth of a penny in San Diego to invest in public transportation operations. You know, L.A. has a cent and a half of sales tax. So their ability to grow and to provide more public transportation is, you know, it's 150 times what we can do here in San Diego. We know that private vehicles are really expensive when it comes to gas and insurance and maintenance, and that when you actually provide people other ways to get from A to B, walking, biking, mass transit, uh, that actually reduces the cost and allows them to be able to afford to live in San Diego. So this is a change that's happening. It's one that I see people are embracing, and it's one I'm really excited about. I would love to see more residents living and raising families uh, in downtown. Um, it's it's kind of starting to happen, especially in the East Village area. Um, but there's still this kind of this feeling that that most people, in order to raise a family, need to live anywhere other than an urban environment. I think one of the challenges that we face is that in the 21st century, people can really live and work anywhere that they want, as long as they have an internet connection. And as a result, we have to be really competitive with other cities to make sure that we're creating the kind of environment that people want to live in, that they choose to live in. I think the people are changing the future of San Diego by being more demanding of, of what's happening around them. 
Uh, we have over 35,000 solar installations on the rooftops here. So we're making great strides. The University of California, San Diego here is doing some really amazing things on campus. They have a microgrid and generate 92% of their own electricity on campus. And even downtown, uh, we have over 3,000 streetlights that are smart streetlights that will save the city over a quarter million dollars a year.